Good morning and welcome to our service of morning prayer. So let us pray. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all, to you be praise and glory forever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake, refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. And our first hymn today is We Are One Body. Savior, my God, the tears of sorrows and the toils and the Listen, 
past and the day lies open before us, let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 56 with the refrain, in God I trust and will not fear. In God I trust and will not fear. Have mercy on me, O God, for they trample over me. All day long they assault and oppress me. My adversaries trample over me all the day long. Many are they that make proud war against me. In the day of my fear I put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise. In God I trust and will not fear, for what can flesh do to me? In God I trust and will not fear. All day long they wound me with words, their every thought is to do me evil. They stir up trouble, they lie in wait, marking my steps, they seek my life. Shall they escape for all their wickedness? In anger, O God, cast the peoples down. You have counted up my groaning, put my tears into your bottle. Are they not written in your book? In God I trust and will not fear. Then shall my enemies turn back on the day when I call upon you. This I know, for God is on my side. In God whose word I praise, in the Lord whose word I praise, in God I trust and will not fear, what can flesh do to me? To you, O God, will I fulfil my vows, to you will I present my offerings of thanks, for you will deliver my soul from death and my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living. In God I trust and will not fear. Let us pray. Faithful God, your deliverance is nearer than we know. Free us from fear and help us to find courage in your word, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, first reading this morning is from uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 15 verses 1 to 11 covering the laws concerning the sabbatical year every seventh year you shall grant a remission of debts and this is the manner of the remission every creditor shall remit the claim that is held against a neighbour not exacting it from a neighbour who is a member of the community because the Lord's remission has been proclaimed. From a foreigner you may exact it, but you must remit your claim on whatever any member of your community owes you. There will, however, be no one in need among you, because the Lord is sure to bless you in the land that the Lord your God is giving you as a possession to occupy. If only you will obey the Lord your God by diligently observing this entire commandment that I command you today. When the Lord your God has blessed you, as he promised you, you will lend to many nations, but you will not borrow. You will rule over many nations, but they will not rule over you. If there is any among you in need, a member of your community in any of your towns within the land that the Lord your God is giving you, do not be hard-hearted or tight-fisted towards your needy neighbour. You should rather open your hand, willingly lending enough to meet the need, whatever it may be. Be careful that you do not, do not entertain a mean thought, thinking the seventh year, the year of, rem of remission is near and therefore view your needy neighbour with hostility and give nothing, your neighbour might cry to the Lord against you, and you would incur guilt. Give liberally, and be ungrudging when you do so, for on this account the Lord your God will bless you in all your work, and in all that you undertake. 
since there will never cease to be some in need on earth. I therefore command you, open your hand to the poor and needy and needy neighbour in your land. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our second hymn this morning is My Song is Love Unknown. Our second reading is from the book of Acts, chapter 27, verses 33 to 44. Just before daybreak, Paul urged all of them to take some food, saying, Today is the fourteenth day that you have been in suspense and remaining without food, having eaten nothing. Therefore, I urge you to take some food, for it will help you survive. For none of you will lose a hair from your heads. After he had said this, he took bread, and giving thanks to God in the presence of all, he broke it and began to eat. Then all of them were encouraged and took food for themselves. We were in all 276 persons in the ship. After they had satisfied their hunger, they lightened the ship by throwing the wheat into the sea. In the morning they did not recognise the land, but they noticed a bay with a beach, on which they planned to run the ship ashore if they could. So they cast off the anchors and left them in the sea. At the same time they loosened the ropes that tired the steering oars. Then hoisting the foresail to the wind, they made for the beach. But striking a reef they ran the ship aground. 
The bow stuck and remained immovable, but the stern was being broken up by the force of the waves. The soldiers' plan was to kill the prisoners, so that none might swim away and escape. But the centurion, wishing to save Paul, kept them from carrying out their plan. He ordered those who could swim to jump overboard first and make for the land, and the rest to follow, some on planks and others on pieces of the ship. And so it was that all were brought safely to land. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our Gospel Canticle, the Benedictus. You have raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of your servant David. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up, raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You have raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of your servant David. And so let us pray. Father God, you became poor so that we might become rich. In our world of inequality, give us this confidence and strength to share our riches with those who are in need. Lord, pour out your blessings. For those people leading da dangerous homelands, who seek asylum in our land, whose hardships we can only partially understand, we ask for a deep sense of your understanding and for practical ways to show your love. Lord, pour out your blessings. Father, we ask that those who work long hours for very little money, those who feel unfulfilled with their daily lot, those who have no security, no home to go back to, we ask that they know your hope and your love. Lord, pour out your blessings. We give thanks for those who give of their time and resources for others, working through food banks, out, outreach centres, charities and the like. We ask for generous hearts and a living faith that enable us to lovingly reach out in your name. Lord, pour out your blessings. And for ourselves, we ask that you bless us and that we will be a blessing to others to the glory of your name. Lord, pour out your blessings. Amen. O God, the protector of all who trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy, increase and multiply upon us your mercy that with you as our ruler and guide, we may so pass through things temporal that we lose not our hold on things eternal. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 
So let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So may the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.